Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. My first new computer since the Generation 1 MacBook Air has finally arrived. Today, we're going to unbox and set up my Framework DIY laptop. Stick around. Okay, guys, so here's the box that the Framework laptop shipped in. All I've done is cut the tape open. Uh, so let's see what we've got inside. Yay for some deflated shipping material. We have an envelope filled with my hard drive. I opted for the 500 gig. There's our Wi-Fi card. And here are the four modules, USB-C, HDMI, USB-C, and USB-A that I purchased. The power adapter, and yes, I know I could have purchased any kind of power adapter uh, that's USB-C capable, but I just wanted a framework branded one. And then finally, and finally, the framework laptop. Now, as I'm trying to get this open, you'll notice I didn't pull any RAM out, and that's because I had my own sticks of RAM along with my own Windows license. Look at that. Now this is the DIY model, so I will have to put all the parts in myself, but there's some framework stickers. Framework how to pull the bottom of the computer off so we can get to everything. So excited, this is literally my first new computer since the First gen MacBook Air. Look how pretty that is. It's got a good a good weight to it too. It feels solid. A real flex on that. Very nice, very nice. Physical switches for microphone and camera. I like that. Pretty nice. All right, on to the setup. One of the reasons I chose the Framework laptop is that the entire laptop can be worked on with this one tool. You have a screwdriver, Torx bit on one end, with a Phillips head on the other end. And then on this, you have a, a spludger, a pry bar, basically. Now you have these screws here which will allow us to get into the laptop via the keyboard. Now these are captive screws, so as I'm unscrewing these, you notice that I'm leaving them here. All we have to do is unscrew them. Flip the laptop over. Gently pry the keyboard up. Pull on that right there. And now our keyboard, along with the fingerprint sensor, comes out. Now, everything is wired to the touchpad here and out through there, which is where our fingerprint sensor goes. All those wires come into here and then loop out through here to the main board. We've got a place for storage here, RAM here, and our Wi-Fi card goes here. And you can see all these little QR codes everywhere. All of these parts are replaceable by the end user, which I think is super cool. 
even if I wanted to replace this whole motherboard, all I have to do is go on Frameworks website, find a new motherboard, purchase it, take out a couple of screws, and put it in. I'm going to start with the Western Digital Black SN750. Which again, I went for for both the I went for it because it had I opted for this drive because I currently use a 500 gig I currently use a 500 gig stop now I went with this because I currently use a 500 gig drive on my computer and all of my important videos and the such for YouTube are, are stored elsewhere so I don't really have to worry. Take out our screw here. The screwdriver is magnetic as well which is super helpful. There you go. Hard drive installed. Now the next little bit be a little bit harder. We have here, as you can see, we have another screw with a mounting bracket. of sorts for a Wi-Fi card and the Wi-Fi card has color coordinated spots on it for the color coordinated wires here just a matter of installing it there what I'm thinking that installed here. This is going to channel... No, it doesn't. This will go, okay. So this piece goes like that. Then our piece comes in here, like so. No. Well, this might be something I have to figure out later, as I didn't see any instructions for it. So, we're going to install the Wi-Fi card, like so. Going to make sure that we line up our cables correctly. And these you just kind of have to line up and push down. Tuck the cables back into their little homes there. It is really cool that they give you all the tools necessary to do this. Literally right out of the box.
There you go. repositioning them so that they fit better in the channels. Now, if you've got one of these computers already and you've had to do this yourself, let me know in the comments uh, what you did with that little metal piece. Because I couldn't figure out how to get that in there properly without it covering something. It looks like to me it should go in like that. So maybe it does. Maybe it goes in like that over everything. But again, if I am wrong in what I'm doing here, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. But this is what we're doing till I can find a better way. Yeah. That looks right, though. That way they don't come bouncing out. So what do we have? We have our hard drive, our Wi-Fi. Now we just need some DDR4 RAM. You can see you just have to line it up here. Make sure it matches here. And that's all there is to it. We've got hard drive, Wi-Fi, and RAM all installed. Now it's just a matter of putting our cable back in place. I love the fact that this whole thing is put together with magnets. Close the lid. Turn it around. Tighten our screws. And I'm going to install a USB-C for one side for power. And it really doesn't matter what you install because I think these are all hot swappable. So I want my power to be routed on the right side. We'll put I think we'll actually just do double USB-C. It actually doesn't matter. I've got four slots and I've got four peripherals, so we're going to have it all. USB C's in the back, followed by USB A, 
And finally, our HDMI. Look at that right there. It's so cool. All I've got to do now is install an operating system. I have installed all of my peripherals. I've installed a hard drive, a Wi-Fi module, and RAM in the framework laptop and buttoned everything back up. Now I need to proceed on to the next steps, which is installing Windows 10 and dual booting to Linux so that I can have my same setup that I have on the current X1 Yoga ThinkPad that I've been using to make all these YouTube videos. I'm very excited. It's my first new computer. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the process that I go through to set up the operating system. I will have a video coming up after I've gotten a chance to use this computer and play with it some. Going forward, my videos are all going to be edited on this machine. The X1 ThinkPad has been a good computer, but I'm noticing that as I start adding more and more content into my videos, it's taking longer and longer to edit and render the videos. So I'm excited to get going doing this. If you have any comments or questions about the framework laptop or anything else you've seen here, please let me know in the comments down below. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.